Amen. Amen. I want to share about um, about blessing and God wants you heal and well. Remember, remember always, Jesus is our Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. He is the God of more than enough. Jesus is living you. Amen. If you invite Amen. him, if you invite him to your heart, to our heart, and and the Lord come and take over our life. And say it, Lord, and I am here for you and take over my life and I want you to invite in my life, in my heart and to be my Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. In Matthew chapter 6, verse 9 to 13, our Father in Amen and amen. And I will say in English, Our Father in heaven, may your name be kept holy, may your kingdom come soon, and may your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day the food we need and forgive us our sins as we have forgiven those who sin against us and don't let us yield to temptation but rescue us from the evil one amen in jesus name amen. hallelujah amen Amen. Amen and amen. In that prayer from Jesus Christ, that is the complete package. That uh, amen. 
He gave us to repent and ask God for forgiveness. And he, he told us about tithes and offering and claim the blessing, whatever God gave to us. We need to learn how to claim and we need to stay happy and blessed. And the most important is prayer and protection. We need to pray to God. And whatever blessing we need to claim and give thanks to God and praise God and worship Him. अगर ईमानदार होते हुए हम खुशी और बरकत को हासिल करना चाहते हैं तो इस आयत में जो खास आयत है जिस पर हमने गौर किया कि माफी की आयत अगर हम इसे अपना लेंगे तो फिर हमारा दिल खुदावन के लिए खुल जाएगा और जब दिल खुलेगा फिर हमारी जिंदगी में हकीकी जो शादमानी खुदावन की है वो शादमानी भी आ जाएगी और खुदावन की जो हकीकी बरकत है वो बरकत हमारी जिंदगी में आज जारी होगी आज हमारी जिंदगी में बरकत और शादमानी इसलिए नहीं है क्योंकि हम इस हिस्से पर खास गौर नहीं कर रहे हैं in Matthew chapter 6 verse 33 but seek first the kingdom of God yes can we read yes please Amen. And I will read in English. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added to you. Um, if we seek first God first in our heart, in our life, and we can see the blessing of God. So we need to look and seek first to God and you will see the result of the blessing. And all these things will be added to you. Amen. Remember, God is an awesome God. So you need to start dream big. If you dream small, you will get only small. So you need to start dream big, think big, and also don't think small. Because when you think small, you okay. will receive only small. Yeah. Amen and Amen. Uh, remember, my dearest beloved, seek God in your life before anything else. Before the thing you want to get, seek God first. And once you seek God first in your life, in the uh, seek you first, uh, they said, seek you first the kingdom of God. So once we seek God first, 
you will see and if you look to God you will see the blessing the blessing is coming but God has already provided for us the only one thing we need is we need okay. to receive and believe yeah uh, yourself i want to think big because i am blessed by god i am blessed by jesus and highly favored by god amen the short story when my husband's salary is $18 when I think big and I said the salary of my husband right now is $110 per hour and praise the Lord because I don't have any doubt in myself I have faith and my faith God answered my prayer from $18 salary of my husband and he gave $110 per hour. Amen? Because of my faith. Amen. Okay. For example, <laughs> Amen, hallelujah, praise God. And the secret of that is we need to use our faith. Then God will answer our prayer. Amen. Amen. And remember, the only Jesus, He is our Savior and He is our supplier. If we trust to Him, if we open our heart and our mind and learn how to receive the blessing, and you can see the good result of blessing. Amen. Amen. 
خداوند کی برکات ہماری زندگیوں میں جاری ہوں گی اور خداوند کی برکات ہماری زندگیوں میں نازل ہوں گی آمین تو سسٹر وی ہیو اونلی 5 منٹس اوکے ریمیمبر گاڈ وانٹس یو ویل اٹ از ان دا اٹ از ناٹ ریلیجیوس اٹ از بیبلیکل and it is begins with the absolute declaration that the bible um told us about sickness and curse is not the blessing that is a curse so if you have sickness you need to learn how to rebuke the sickness gone in jesus name amen by your faith amen خدا کا کلام اس بات کی وضاحت کرتا ہے کہ بیماریاں اور لانتے یہ خدا ان کی طرف سے ہیں یہ ابلیس کی طرف سے تو اگر ہم ایماندار ہیں ہماری زندگیوں میں بیماریاں اور لانتوں کا اثر ہے لانتے کون کون سی ابا و اجداد کی لانتے اور کئی طرح کی لانتے ہیں جس کے نیچے انسان چلا جاتا یہ لانتے خدا ان کی طرف سے نہیں اگر ہم ایماندار ہیں ہماری زندگیوں میں یہ لانتے ہیں تو پھر ہمیں ان لانتوں کو یسو سی ناظری کے خون سے اپنے بدنوں سے دور کرنے کی ضرورت ہے اور یسو کے خون سے پاک ہونے کی ضرورت ہے پھر ہم پاک ہوں گے آمین 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 ریمبر ان سیکنڈ کورین چانس فائیو سیون وی فور وی واک بائی فیت ناٹ بائی سائٹ پانچواں باپ ساتھ نہیں آئے کیونکہ ہم ایمان پر چلتے ہیں نہ کہ ہم کو دیکھے پر ایمین وی نیڈ ٹو لیو بائی بلیونگ اینڈ ناٹ بائی سیئنگ آج بھی انہوں نے کوٹ کی تھی کہ ہم ایمان پر چل رہے ہیں نہ کہ ہم کو دیکھے پر When you pray for healing, you need to believe by faith you are healed already. Even you did not see yet the sign and about the healing, but because of your faith and believing, you are healed and you will be healed and you will be better. Amen? Amen. If you are sick, then you need to come to the hospital in this situation. بجائے اس کے کہ آپ کو کوئی نشان آپ دیکھنا چاہیں آپ کہیں کہ مجھے کوئی نشان نظر نہیں آ رہا کیسی کہ نشان نہ بھی نظر آئے ہمیں خدا کی حضوری میں ایمان کے ساتھ چلتے رہنے کی ضرورت ہے کہ جتنی مرضی بیماری آ جائے مشکلات آ جائیں میرا خداون کا یہ وعدہ ہے کہ ایمان دار بندہ ایمان سے جیتا رہے گا تو خدا مند اسے چھو کر شفا بخشے آمین آمین I want to share the story of my mother my mother she is three days She cannot get up and um, she cannot uh, say anything and also she is sleeping for three days and there is the pastors they are visiting in our house and my mother she is still not get up and she doesn't move and in three days she is always uh, she is only sleeping and the pastor said is we need to bring in the hospital and my sister she called me they are in the philippines and my sister called me if my mother they will bring in the hospital and i said no i said and you know what happened our neighbors uh we have many neighbors are visiting and they said what you need to do for your money your mother is sick you need to bring in the hospital and i said No, and my sister said also, my sister said no, so we cannot bring our mother in the hospital. But I said to my sister in the next morning, I said, don't accept any visitors, only you and me, and we pray to our mother. In the name of Jesus, my mother, she is get up and she is healed and she live more five years more longer. Amen? Because if anyone, okay. there is lacking of okay. faith. No, I want to translate. Yeah. Okay. Then I said, my mother, she was a little girl, 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 she was a little girl
ਇਸ ਬਿਮਾਰੀ ਦੀ ਹਾਲਤ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਨਾ ਉਹ ਬੋਲ ਸਕਦੀ ਇੱਕ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਕਹਿ ਲੋ ਫਾਲਤ ਹੋ ਗਿਆ ਉਹਦਾ ਜਿਸਮ ਰੁਕ ਗਿਆ ਉਹ ਚਾਰ ਪਾਈ ਤੇ ਪਈ ਹੋਈ ਸੀ ਕਹਿੰਦੀ ਕਿ ਪਾਸਟਰ ਆਇਆ ਪਾਸਟਰ ਨੇ ਦੁਆ ਕੀਤੀ ਉਹਨੇ ਕਿਹਾ ਕਿ ਹੁਣ ਇਹਨੂੰ ਹਸਪੀਟਲ ਲੈ ਜਾ ਕਹਿੰਦੀ ਕਿ ਸਾਡੇ ਅੰਦਰ ਇਮਾਨ ਇਹ ਪੈਦਾ ਹੋਣ ਗਿਆ ਸੀ ਕਿ ਨਹੀਂ ਖੁਦਾ ਮਨ ਮੌਜੂਦਾ ਕਰਨਾ ਕਹਿੰਦੀ ਅਗਲੇ ਦਿਨ ਇੱਕ ਕੁਝ ਸਾਡੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਹਮ ਸਾਏ ਸਨ ਮਹਿਮਾਨ ਸਨ ਉਹ ਆਣਾ ਸ਼ੁਰੂ ਹੋ ਗਏ ਵਿਜ਼ਿਟ ਕਰਨਾ ਸ਼ੁਰੂ ਹੋ ਗਏ ਸਾਡੇ ਮੇਰੀ ਮਾਮਾ ਦਾ ਹਾਲ ਪਤਾ ਕਰਨਾ ਸ਼ੁਰੂ ਹੋ ਗਏ ਇਹ ਫਿਰ ਪਾਈਂ ਚੱਲ ਗਏ ਸੀ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਕਿ ਉਹ ਆਏ ਉਹ ਆ ਕੇ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਮੇਰੀ ਸਿਸਟਰ ਬੋਡੀ ਸੀ ਮੈਂ ਤਾਂ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਆ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਪੈਸਾ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਕਿੱਥੇ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਜਾਣਾ ਸਾਡੀ ਮਾਂ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਜਦੋਂ ਰਹੀ ਤੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਇਹਨੂੰ ਹਸਪੀਟਲ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਜਾਓ ਕਹਿੰਦੀ ਮੇਰੀ ਸਿਸਟਰ ਨੇ ਕਿਹਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਇਹਨੂੰ ਹਸਪੀਟਲ ਨਹੀਂ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਜਾਣਾ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਕਾਇਲੀ ਹਥੋਂ ਦੀ ਅਸੀਂ ਦੁਆ ਕਰੀ ਕਹਿੰਦੀ ਕਿ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਉਹਨੇ ਪੁੱਛਿਆ ਮਮੀ ਇਹ ਹੀ ਕਿਹਾ ਕਿ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਇਹ ਹੀ ਕਾਇਲੀ ਅਤੇ ਦੁਆ ਕਰੀ ਕਿ ਕਈ ਦਫਾ ਕਾਇਲੀ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਹੈ ਕਾਇਲੀ ਕਹਿੰਦੀ ਹੋਈ ਅਸੀਂ ਦੁਆ ਕੀਤੀ ਕਹਿੰਦੀ ਅਗਲੇ ਦਿਨ ਅਸੀਂ ਇਹ ਕੀਤਾ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਮਹਿਮਾਨ ਆ ਕੇ ਇਹ ਗੱਲ ਸੰਤ ਨਾ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਸੀ ਅਸੀਂ ਅਗਲੇ ਦਿਨ ਮਹਿਮਾਨਾਂ ਦਾ ਦਾਖਲਾ ਬੰਦ ਕਰ ਦਿੱਤਾ ਮਹਿਮਾਨਾਂ ਦਾ ਦਾਖਲਾ ਬੰਦ ਕਰਕੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਸਾਰਾ ਦਿਨ ਦੁਆ ਕਰਦੇ ਰਹੇ ਰਾਤ ਦੁਆ ਕਰਦੇ ਰਹੇ ਔਰ ਅਗਲੇ ਦਿਨ ਸਵੇਰ ਕੀ ਹੋਇਆ ਕਿ ਮੇਰੀ ਮਾਂ ਉੱਠ ਕੇ ਠੀਕ ਚੱਲਣਾ ਫਿਰਨਾ ਸ਼ੁਰੂ ਕਰ ਦਿੱਤਾ ਹallelujah amen praise god hallelujah so why i share that uh, that story because i want everyone they can use their faith because everything will be happen and good result and miracle blessing if we use our faith amen amen uh kehte ke badori imandar hote hue maine ye story aapko kis liye sunayi ye is liye story sunayi ki aapka iman khuda ki zaat par mazboot ho taaki aap zindagi mein jo bade bade mamlaat hain unhe bajaye idhar udhar lekar jaane ke aap khuda ki huzuri mein lekar aaye to khuda ki yakeenan fir aapko barkat dega aur khushiyan dega amen Okay. Amen. Thank you Father, thank you Jesus. Thank you Holy Spirit, thank you for everything. And I ask the favor God, uh the favor God to bless all the people. right now in pakistan guys bani khuda ko dua karte hain to meherban khuda hai aaj yahan par jitni zindagiyan baithi hui hain inki tamam bimariyon ko inke badlon se dur kar de abhi aur isi par and extend your hand to each one of the family lord bless them oh god bless their life oh god and bless whatever they touch oh god ਇਹ ਖੁਦਾ ਨੂੰ ਆਜ ਆਪਣੇ ਹੱਥ ਕੋ ਆਪਣੇ ਲੋਗੋਂ ਪਰ ਬੜਾ ਦੇ ਔਰ ਇਨਕੇ ਖਾਨਦਾਨੋਂ ਕੋ ਛੁਕਰ ਬਰਕਤ ਦੇ ਔਰ ਖੁਦਾ ਨੂੰ ਇਨੇ ਆਪਣਾ ਹੱਥ ਬੜਾ ਕਰ ਤੂੰ ਛੂ ਤਾਂ ਕਿ ਇਨਕੀ ਜ਼ਿੰਦਗੀ ਕੇ ਤਮਾਮ ਮਾਮਲਾਤ ਯਿਸੂ ਦੇ ਨਾਮ ਤੇ ਹਾਲ ਹੋਵੇ ਐਂਡ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਜੀਸਸ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਲੋਰਡ ਫੋਰ ਦਾ ਵਿਸਡਮ ਐਂਡ ਨਾਲੇਜ ਵਾਟ ਐਵਰ ਵੀ ਡੂ ਇਨ ਆਰ ਲਾਈਫ ਐ ਖੁਦਾ ਇਹ ਸਾਰੀ ਬਾਤੋਂ ਕੇ ਲਈ ਤੇਰੀ ਸ਼ੁਕਰਗੁਜ਼ਾਰੀ ਕਰਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਜੋ ਹਕਮਤ ਔਰ ਜੋ ਇਲਮ ਤੂਨੇ ਆਪਣੇ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਕੋ ਨਵਾਜ਼ਾ ਹੋਇਆ ਹੈ ਦਿਲ ਕੀ ਗਹਿਰਾਈਆਂ ਸੇ ਤੇਰੀ ਸ਼ੁਕਰਗੁਜ਼ਾਰੀ ਕਰਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਐਂਡ ਬਲੈਸ ਆਲ ਦਾ ਮਿਨਿਸਟਰੀ ਆਫ ਬ੍ਰਦਰ ਪਾਈਸਨ ਐਂਡ ਆਲਸੋ ਹਿਸ ਫੈਮਿਲੀ ਓ ਗਾਡ ਬਲੈਸ ਦੇਮ ਓ ਗਾਡ ਐਂਡ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਫੋਰ ਯਰ ਪ੍ਰੋਟੈਕਸ਼ਨ ਟੂ ਈਚ ਵਨ ਆਫ ਦਾ ਫੈਮਿਲੀ ਇਨ ਪਾਕਿਸਤਾਨ ਲੋਰਡ ਐਂਡ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਫੋਰ ਓਪਨਿੰਗ देयर ਹਾਰਟ to see you god to see you jesus and thank you for your peace joy love and happiness khuda ka naam teri shukr guzari karte hain kadimo ke liye jo jahan khidmat karte hain har khas taur par pakistani church ke liye jinke dilon ko tu taiyar kar raha hai ke woh aasman ki badshahi mein daakhil ho sake to khuda man chahte hain teri barkat teri qudrat tere logon ki zindagiyon mein jaari ho amen and any sickness any sickness i command you right now gone in every family any symptom in jesus mighty name yesu si nasri ke naam se har kisam ki bimariyan in badlon ko chhode aur hamesha ke liye main ne daant di ye dur ho jaye in badlon se yesu ke naam se amen any hard life any uh
and may the Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. Number 624 and 26. Okay. Uh, 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 Amen. Amen and amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, dear sister, very much for your precious time. We are very thankful to you. Oh, we are so much thankful. Also, I am very much thankful to have you all tonight. So keep remember us in your precious prayers. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Thank you. God bless you all. Bye. Remember, this is my continue of my um, sharing the God's words. Remember, when you pray, God listen. When you pray, storms get stilled. When you pray, doors open. When you pray, relationship with other people get restored. And also, relationship to your family get restored. When you pray, sickness gets healed. When you pray, hope gets rekindled. When you pray, answers come. Don't lose faith for what you are praying for today. God is faithful. His answer will come at just the right time. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to share back again the verse, 2 Corinthians 5, 7. For we walk by faith, not by sight. Amen. When you ask to God, when you pray to God, we need to use our faith because we don't look for uh, the result quickly, but through your faith, it will be happen whatever you ask for to God. Amen. Praise the Lord. We need to live by believing and not by seeing. Means when you pray for healing, you need to believe by faith you are healed already. Even you did not see any sign yet of healing, but because of your faith and believing you are healed and you will be healed. So we need to learn. You need to act by faith. You will be healed by faith. You will do any miracle, even it's not there yet, even you cannot see it in your eyes. You need to believe it will be happen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. And I want to share the story about my mother when, uh, when he is sick because... When he is sick in three days, year 2005, she is very sick to the point of falling asleep as if he was, if uh, she was looks dead because she is sleep in three days and she cannot speak and she cannot open her eyes and she never talked to anyone and she didn't eat in three days. And some of our friends visiting to my mother and our neighbors and our pastor in the church in the Philippines, they pray over to my mother and she still doesn't wake up. She's still sleeping in three days. And the pastor said, you need to bring your mother in the hospital. And my sister call me and um she said my sister and my mother by the way they live both in the philippines and i'm in the usa at the time 
And my sister called me and she said is, everyone, she said, everyone, the advice here, we need to bring our mother in the hospital. And the pastor also, she seen my he seen my mother and they pray over to her and she still not wake up and she still cannot speak and she looks like dead because she is still sleeping no speak and she didn't eat in three days and our pastor said you need to bring your mother in the hospital and also our neighbor said why you don't why you didn't bring your mother in the hospital? What did you do for your money? Your mother is sick. And, and one of our neighbors said, and she is very upset to me and to my sister because that is my mother friend. And she said, why you did not bring your mother in the hospital and what do you want to use your money your um and you will only keep only your money and not saving your mother in the hospital and my sister said no we believe in our lord jesus christ so and we believe the healing and the power to our Lord Jesus Christ. And my neighbors, they are all upset to me and to my sister. And at the time, I'm in the USA and my sister called me and I said, don't bring Nanai in the hospital don't bring our mother in the hospital i said that to my sister in the philippines and i said to my sister tomorrow don't accept any visitors to not to our mother you and i pray to our mother we will pray to our mother and use the prayer shawl talit and lay hands our mother with a prayer shawl talit. So my sister, she listened to me and we pray to our mother with a prayer shawl. And I said, we need to use our, I said to my sister, we need to use our faith and believe our mother will get healed. Amen. And the next morning, my sister and I, she lay hands my mother and with a prayer shovel talit, praise the Lord. When we pray in the name of Jesus, any symptom to my mother, any sickness gone right now in the name of Jesus and any is stolen from the enemy to my mother right now i command you get out get out right now in the name of jesus hallelujah 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 amen amen and praise the lord praise the lord my mother she opened her eyes and she get up and you know what happened after we prayed to my mother and my mother she get back to normal again praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah amen and she lived more five years amen with happiness no doctor and no medicine amen and my mother, when she get up, you know what she said to us? She's telling the story. When she get up, she said, well, well, when she is sleeping in the bed, she is with a little girl. 
and and she's in her body and many people are praying for her and crying and she said and she said she's seen also all our relatives dead already long time ago praise the lord praise the lord that means that's not the time of my mother when he is sick and we did when she is sick and we didn't put her in the hospital we believe only to our beloved jesus christ our healer he is our healer he is our savior he is our provider for many things so my dearest beloved do not doubt to god do not doubt to jesus christ because he is only the one who can help us when you are sick when you are sick you need to learn how to rebuke your sickness very simple i want to share this to everyone my dearest beloved learn how to rebuke and use your faith and believe you will receive whatever you ask in your prayer how to rebuke if you have cough or fever right now say in the name of jesus any symptom in my body get out right now get out right now in jesus mighty name use the authority god gave us already long time ago because of jesus he gave us the authority to heal to rebuke any demon and to rebuke any sickness remember sickness is a course from the enemy learn how to rebuke in the name of jesus and sickness is a sin amen if we need uh, the only we need is to have act in faith we need to act. we need to use the power from god very simple I command you, Satan, any symptom in my body right now, get out. Get out. Get out. And you don't have any business in my body. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. When you pray, remember, you need to use your faith so why it is important to believe the sickness is a course why is that the bible is the inspired word of god and the source of our belief if you are inspired by healing but um by the healing stories we need to invite we need to invite jesus in our life thanks god thanks god god answer my prayer and god gave that promotion remember you need to believe when you pray if you pray for the salary and god will give to you whatever you ask for and because at the time i claimed the salary of my husband and i claimed the promotion for him and thanks god all things are miracle to god and he gave 110 dollars per hour Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Plus free food and free hotel. So, faith is voice activated. 
So, God said, Let there be light in Genesis chapter 1, verse 3. And there was light. So, when you ask something, faith is voice activated. When you ask something, the words are powerful. Jesus said, you have to be come uh you have to become what is that um jesus said you have to believe come to pass in john chapter 14 verse 29 i want to read this one the tongue can bring death of life those who love to talk will reap the consequences death and life are in the power of the tongue and those who love it will eat its fruit if you talk negative you will eat the negative if you talk positive you will reap the positive blessing amen and you will bless your life men i will tell you it's happened to me and it's happened to to my husband and it's happened to my family if they receive and they believe through your faith it will be happen if you believe there is god our lord jesus christ he is our supplier for many things for everything and he is our healer amen so we need to be careful my dearest beloved what you say because whatever you say, it will be happen to you, to your life, to your family. If you are talk negative all the time, every day to your life, to, your, to everywhere, it will be come to you. So from now on, learn to talk positive. And don't talk negative if you want to bless your life. Because faith is stronger than arthritis. Remember that. If you have sickness, faith is stronger than your sickness. Amen? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Or any symptom of your body. So you need to start right now. Right now. Confessing in Matthew chapter 10 verse 8. Remember, I always told to anyone, when you pray, you need to use your authority. Authority, God gave you already. God gave us already 2,000 years ago. Use your authority and say, if you have cancer right now, cancer, I command you, get out to your body. To your body right now. Any who have the person have cancer right now. I command you cancer. Get out to their body. You don't have business to their body. Because her body or his body is already paid for. By the blood of Jesus. Amen. Believe. If you have a stroke right now. Don't look to the stroke. Don't look what you see. Look, the miracle, it's there already, you're healing right now. So believe, because if you believe, you will see the good result of blessing. Amen? Amen, praise the Lord. Even you did not see yet from your eyes, in your eyes, believe you are healed and well in Jesus' mighty name. I want to read this in Matthew chapter 10, verse 8. Heal the sick. This is Jesus gave to us already in Matthew chapter 10, verse 6. I'm sorry, I'm healing. I'm not healing. I just praise God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. Matthew chapter 10, verse 8. Heal the sick. Jesus, he talked to all 12 disciples and this is he said heal the sick he command this one he gave the authority and whatever he gave to the disciple he gave that to you my dearest beloved 
because in the time of Jesus Christ, we are all free, the Jews and the Gentiles. So claim right now whatever Jesus he said to all his disciples. He gave this authority to us. Heal the sick, raise the dead, cure those with leprosy, and cast out demons freely as you have received. Amen. Praise the Lord. I receive that in the name of Jesus and I claim that to my body right now. Any symptom in my body, you don't have business because my body is already paid for by the blood of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. So we need to do, my dearest brother in Christ, we need to talk start today start today today is october what's the date today october 11 i don't know october 11 october 12 2022 i want to share this to everyone you need to learn how to use your faith faith is is stronger than your sickness than the cancer than the arthritis whatever symptom remember that all the time and whatever you ask, the voice, uh, the faith is, uh, is voice activated. So when you say something, talk positive, not negative. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. In John chapter 15, verse 4 to 8, abide in me. And I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit by itself unless it abides in the vine. Neither can you unless you abide in me. I am vine. You are the branches. My dearest beloved, you are the branches. So claim the power of God He gave to us 2,000 years ago to rebuke the sickness and to command any symptom of your body. God, we need to learn how to rebuke any sickness. And Jesus said, whoever abides in me and I in him, he it is that bears much fruit for a part from me you can do nothing if anyone does not abide in me he is thrown away like a branch and withers and the branches are gathered thrown into the fire and burn if you abide in me and my words abide in you us whatever you wish and it will be done for you by this my father is glorified that you bear much fruit and so prove to be my disciples praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah amen may the lord bless you and keep you May the Lord make His face shine on you and be gracious to you. And may the Lord <clears throat> turn His face towards you and give you peace. Numbers chapter 6 verse 24 to 26. Remember, We need to use our faith and look to Jesus and remember His words. Remember His words and read. Read the Bible. Remember, when you pray, God listens. When you pray, storms get stilled. When you pray, doors open. When you pray, relationship get restored. When you pray, sickness gets healed. When you pray, 
hope gets rekindled. <clears throat> when you pray, answers come. Don't lose your faith for what you are praying for today. God is faithful. God is faithful. My husband, he's listening, whatever I, and he said he's hungry. And I want to say, his answer will come at just the right time. When you pray, God's listen. Jesus, listen to you, to me, to us. But we need to use our faith. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Remember, God said in Genesis chapter 1, verse 3, let there be light, and there was light. The words are powerful. Faith is voice activated. Whatever you said, it will be happen to you. So you need to learn how to speak now the positive way not the negative way if you want to see the healing miracle from god if you want to see the blessing of god amen whatever god did that to me it will do that also to you in hebrew chapter 11 verse 6 but Without faith, it is impossible to please Him. For he who comes to God must believe that He is, and He is a rewarder of those who diligently seek Him. Without faith, we cannot please God. For us to receive anything in the kingdom from salvation onward we need faith if you believe in jesus the messiah you need to have faith amen praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah amen thank you so much for for sharing this video for watching this video and thank you for hit like and share and please subscribe to my video if you want to get update of my video if you want to get update of my video every two days i have video <clears throat> amen sometimes every day uh once every day so sometimes i have video in two days so please watch my video and to be a part of the family god bless you all i love you guys all and thank you father for giving the blessing to all the watchers and to all my family here in the usa and also to all the family in the philippines and to all my friends here in the usa and also in the philippines and all many country i have many friends and thank you for pakistan lord bless their heart bless their life oh god and from india bless their heart of god and bless their life from kenya uh is that kenya yeah from kenya they ask also to share the uh, gospel to them and someday soon kenya i will be there for you guys and i will share the gospel i'm sorry for this week and we are busy a little bit and for next week i promise i will go 
uh, to see you guys online and share the gospel to all of you guys. I love you guys. Bye!